Alright lads, so the Ender Month banner has been announced, we're about to check it out. For some reason, I feel like it's going to be a Grim Jan Okira. Not sure why I do think that. And it is apparently a Cacao Society banner, as predicted by a lot of you lads. And the next epic raid is Zyra Pro. Kind of excited for that, wouldn't like that in yellow, but it's fine. <laughs> so, let's check out the two new characters, it's Grim Jan Okira. Wow, that looks, that looks great. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, bro, two white day banners in the same month is kind of strange. I'm not gonna lie, especially considering the fact that we didn't get a single Valentine's banner. I'm for this, though. This artwork looks gas. So, of course, if you don't know, these two characters were leaked before, and we knew this was coming, but the artwork is something we didn't know about, and this looks great. I'm excited. I'm excited. So, let's see if our prediction was right. Grimjow being the SP character, Okura being the Nat character. Hopefully, they're two good characters, and uh, let's see what they do have to offer. So, Grinjow is a Technic character, and Okura is a Mind character. They look sick, man. Ah, oh, I can't. I, that's gas. That's gas. All right, so Okura, not sure what I want him to be, especially considering the fact that we literally just got Rukia. I'm not sure what Okura is going to bring to the table as a, as a new Mind Nad character. For Grimjow, he has potential here. I know Retsu and Arbok Ichigo exist, so maybe if he's in a Ram Killer and he's really good, this could be something that's worth looking at. So let's check him out. So firstly, we have Grimjow. So melee, a strong attack character. All attacks inflict weak hitting. That's actually very good. Oh, no, they did it. Oh, they're super links or characters. No. Oh, that sucks, man. I, why did they do it for this banner? We, I think a lot of people saw this coming. A lot of people actually called this for some reason. Either way, so this is already a must summon, right? If Okura is one too, oh. I'm not pulling. I'm not pulling. It's just that simple. Like, I don't, I don't care about the super links or skills. I'm not pulling. I don't have orbs to pull right now. Anyway, uh, if, if Okura isn't one, I might summon on uh, Grimjow's individual. So, we'll see how this one goes. But he's a, he's a super links character. So, he has insane value from the get-go. He is a melee character, strong attack character, weakening all of attacks. New innate skill, damage to weakened enemies plus 20%. New skill, super link stop potion plus 5 for the speed attribute. New skill, technique attribute of Ronka's damage to status elements plus 20%. That's really good. That's new to bad. And he is an Aranka killer. Okay, that's actually pretty good then. So, assuming he has... Oh, so we know his kit, right? 3,000 length beam. It should be the Vortex SA2. And then a charged full screen strong attack 3. He has potential here. And the special looks nice. Okay, we're going to react to the gameplay later today. Can't do it right now. It's a tad bit too early. But I'm excited to see it nonetheless. So, what do we have here? So, 12% recharge, as expected. Weakened duration. So, he isn't mean to weakening. And that means he isn't mean that great in Guild Quest at the very least. But guard breaking damage to weak enemies is actually pretty nice. Wow. Eesh. Okay, Grimjow, fam, chill. So, Bruiser plus 20%. Yeah, that's throw away. We don't care about that. Frenzy plus 2. Debilitator plus 5. Sprinter plus 1. Havoc plus 20%. Devastation 40. With the Super Link skill and the Speed Link skill. This character is good. This character is good. Like, there's no doubt about it. Frenzy plus 2 as well. That's a good character right there. Is he, like, really, really OP? No. But he's good enough, and he's a super link character. If you're a Grimch, and he has good art too, right? If, and he's a Ranka killer, so like he's kind of filling a niche that not many characters do fill. This is a really good Technic character. I'd probably, dare I say, like the third best tech character in the game right now. And even then, regardless if he was bad or not, you are going to want to use him for farming super links or potions. At the very least, he, is a, he looks to be a good character for that, right? He looks like he has a good kit, weakening everything. Doesn't look too bad. Can't complain too much about, like, just being able to use him in IT, for example. Frenzy plus two is great, too, because then he always has that increased chance of victim status on him. And that's what we are, that's what we can see here. Unlike Nino, well, where they do have an increased chance of victim status on him against two different attributes, which makes them very good when they do have killer for IT. Like, even if they didn't have the super lizard potion, you would probably still want to use them there. In Grimjaw's case, he does not have that, but at least he has Frenzy plus two. So he has that better, small chance of victim status on him against someone that only has Frenzy plus one. If that kind of makes sense. Hopefully it does. Next up, we have Okura. And it appears to be that Okura isn't a Link Star character. Ooh. Oi. Oi. I, I, did I call this? I don't know. <laughs> I'm excited. That's it. So, range, normal attack character. Great. We, we expected that. All attacks do inflict drain. Beautiful. That's exactly what we wanted. Uh, special move is the debuff. New innate skill. Damage to range enemies plus 20%. And the new skill. Status element attack boost plus 80%. Again, if you caught my stream a couple of days ago, we were literally talking about that. Who is the first NAD character that's going to incorporate into the game? Because we know this was data mines. SP exists. It was only a matter of time before attack characters get it. And now, Ogre is the first of its kind to have drain and all of a strong attack, which is great. That's really good. And also have has extra attack when you inflict a style on that's really good as for his killer he has an aspire killer 
and we already know he's ranged, so if you are struggling in the ranged of Sparta, we could Guild Quest, which is coming up, by the way. I, yeah, it is coming up this week. If you don't have Abirama, then having someone like Okura is definitely going to be good to have. 20% uh, Nad, weakened race to minus 100%. Okay, sprint to plus one, damage to drained enemies. So what do we have here? So he's a Guild Quest character. Okay. That's all right. So, Bruiser plus 20%, Berserker plus 30. <sighs> Get throw away, kind of. Really low Bruiser, actually. That actually kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Really low Bruiser. It does, again, for normal PV content, it doesn't... Uh, then again, never mind. He has the, the, the attack boost. The attack stars on boost, so maybe that's why they give him a low Bruiser. So, 20%, fly plus 1 on the lower side, but when you do inflict a stars on you're gonna have a massive high attack. You're gonna be hitting very, very hard. In addition to that, in Guild Quest, he also gets that 50% kill effect, 30% everywhere else, 10% range damage, and 30% in, in Guild Quest. So, very good in that character. Unfortunately, though, I mean, I guess he's better. Maybe he's better than Abi Rama. I think we have to do a bit of testing for those that do have both characters. Although, I'm not really, I'm not really sure what this character. It's weird. Like, I know what he's trying to be, right? He's a Nad character. You can use him in Guild Quest. You can use him outside of Guild Quest. He's going to be quite a fun character to use. He does more damage to Drain. And he can heal himself back up with that Drain. But at the same time, depending on the main character you do use in Guild Quest, because he is a Guild Quest character. So let's quickly talk about that. You're mainly going to be using Rukia for the most part. Even though she isn't a ranged character, a lot of people are still using Rukia. And a lot of time, you're going to be inflicting Freeze. And he's rarely ever going to get a chance to inflict that stars on unless you reset enough or you get lucky. So he's a bit of a weird one, to be honest. At least for Guild Quest. But he's still good nonetheless. Not, it's not bad. And he has Guard Break too, right? He does. So yeah, he's a good character. Uh, hopefully his visuals look nice because he looks fun. He looks fun. Um, as for the fillers, what do we have here? Look at that artwork, though, man. I need to see the full one. We're going to check in a minute. The banner itself is just basically normal, no changes there. And these are the fillers. Fillers are quite mediocre. I'm not going to lie. I'm not really liking the fillers. Uh, Momo, super link. Momo, a link to character. But, eh. There's so many more better ones out there. Isru, decent Nad character. Decent SP character. Decent SP character. Decent, decent, decent. Just a ball, just all a bit of decent. I think the fillers are quite bad. Honestly, lads, I'll probably have a before you summon video gone up later in a couple of days' time. But I don't really think this is a banner to summon on it. Uh, if you really want one of these characters, I think the individual is definitely the way to go for this one. And to be fair, the individual banners aren't looking too great either. All the fillers are quite mediocre. <laughs> this kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. But at the very least, right, what we do know here is that Grimjow, the Super Linksor character, it might be someone you want to summon for, and his individual is on the 18th to the 24th, so right before the next end of month banner, I might do a few summons in that, just to test my luck, because, uh, Super Links of Character, I want to try and get it. I want to try and get it. Uh, luckily for us, though, there's not two Super Links of Character in this banner, only one, so if you only want him, then go for Grim Gel. But with that said, let's quickly hop over to BBS Simulator. Alright, so they're not currently up on BBS Simulator, but we do have it is the Arlok, and that's the main thing I wanted to check out, because again, we already saw their strong attacks, we already know what they do. Um, for, again, for a quick recap for those that don't know, Grimjow SA1, 3000 Lent Beam, SA2 is a Vacuum Vortex, and his SA3 is a Charged Strong Attack that goes in front of him. And then for Ogura, it's an 18% Mag SA1, 800 SA2, and then his SA3 is a Stuck in Vortex, like another Vacuum Vortex, which is pretty good for crowd control. Hits a pretty decent amount of time, so he has a good chance of inflicting a Stars on him. Uh, but look at the artwork, though, this looks absolutely stunning. I think Grimjow's design looks really cool. Way better than I originally thought it was when we got the first leaks a few weeks ago from Heken. This looks really cool on the background, too. This is actually a really good, like, returning banner for Kakao Society, in my opinion. Because it has been two years since we've had uh, last had our Kakao Society banner. But I think this Grimjow looks really cool. And same goes for Okura. Originally, I thought Okura looked better uh, from what the leaks we had. But Grimjow is definitely the uh, cooler one, in my opinion, uh, just from the look in the yard alone. But with that said, lads, that was the video for today. Checking out the two new characters, Okiora, a potentially massive, hard-hitting uh, character when he can affix stars on him. Good survivability, thanks to that drain. Also, a really good character for Guild Quest. And then you have Grimjow, a really good SP character that fills a niche that needed to be fulfilled, the Technique Aranka Killer. And also, the next Super Links of character. So let me know what you like to think about these two characters in the console below. And I'll see you guys later today with the gameplay for both of these characters. Take care.